Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. Today, we're delving into Ren's haunting new song, Murderer. Ren is known for his raw emotion that's expressed in both vocal prowess and totally devastating lyrics. And I'm personally excited to explore the science of sound that goes into creating both. Let's get to it. If you catch me alone, you better stay on my zone because I'm ready to kill. I'll sit on my throne, made the bodies and bones because I'm mentally ill. I'm feeling alive, I got the will to survive, so never test my skill. For goodness sake, man, I'm ready to break, man. Murderer, homie, it's the way that I get down. Ra -ta -ta -ta. Murderer, if you see me on the corner of my town, get back, back, back. Murderer, swing for your door in the first round. Ta -ta -ta. Murderer, homie, it's the way that I get down. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. There, there are so many things to talk about. The biggest, biggest revelation to me is hearing how his sound is evolving. This is very, very interesting. I'm going to go back and talk about a few things as we go. Here we go. I like the coloring of this. Black and white with the red text. If you catch me alone, you better stay on my zone because I'm ready to kill. He's always been very good at going back and forth between rapping and singing the words and then adding pitch to those words. But that has to be one of the smoothest transitions I've ever heard. And it was also done very quickly, immediately pulled us into this zone with him. That was just like. It was just like so tied up in a bow perfectly. <laughs> if you catch me alone, you better stay on my zone because like it goes by so quickly. But listen to how well that's done. If you catch me alone, you better stay on my zone because I'm ready to kill. I'll sit on my throne, made the bodies and bones because I'm mentally ill. I also really am noticing in this intro portion that his high notes, I think, are easier than I've ever heard them. He's done like easy sort of light falsetto high notes, but this isn't going up into that area of his voice yet. This is actually just kind of leaning into the sound that still is rather gathered, and that can cause a person to use a lot of extra energy or force to make it happen. Um, and as the singer evolves, they tend to find more ease in that. He sounds like he's found even more ease in it here than I've heard before. I'll sit on my throne, made the bodies and bones because I'm mentally ill. That's very I'm fast. Feeling alive, I've got the will to survive, so never test my skill. Again, with that super, super precise line between the rap and the pitch. <laughs> I'm feeling alive, I got the will to survive, so never test my skill. Wow. For goodness sake, man, I'm ready to break, man. Murderer, homie, it's the way that I get down. Ra -ta -ta -ta. Murderer, if you see me on the corner of my town, get back, back, back. Murderer, swing for your door in the first round. Da -ta -ta -ta. Murderer, homie, it's the way I that I get down. I love the switch to color. Yeah. I was born sh Okay, we're gonna go back one more time. When that drop of the the bigger music comes in, it definitely feels also like an evolution of his sound. Uh, I love that we've got some of that classic guitar sound immediately from the beginning. And then the way it shifts, and I feel like we just have almost like a more, more intense production of the instrumental behind now. Whew. Oh, I'm gonna go back a little bit again. I've so never test my skill. For goodness sake, my It's really interesting how this all within, if I was to just take a look sort of like at the EQ or where the sound was happening, like what frequencies, all of our super low bassy ones aren't happening at first until we get to that portion where he goes into the murderer and you see those red flashing letters on the screen. Live, I got the will to survive, so never test my skill. Very high. For goodness sake, man, I'm ready to break, man. Murderer. Boom, face. Only it's the way that I get down. Ra -ta -ta -ta. Murderer. If you see me on the corner of my town, get back. 
Talk about devastating lyrics in there. <laughs> well, I did not expect that rhyme. We'll just, I want to go back one more time and appreciate that because that was clever. Oh, only it's the way that I get down, yeah. I was born shameless, fighting out in Brighton with the neighbors. Brother, I should mother what my name is. I was born famous, trends set a heart step of greatest. Shocking like a finger in the anus. I was born wasted, stoned on my... I just can't get over that rhyme. That is just... It's so clever and it's very shocking. So, so appropriately inappropriate at the same time. Wow, just like hats off. That was amazing. This definitely looks like it's following that same video direction that he's had, this one take, and it's wonderful to see that. I love how creative he is, and I just love the way that they've pieced together different scenes with these one takes, and I also really like the idea that maybe that doesn't cost a ton of money. I think that sometimes the most effective music videos are the ones that don't break the bank. I am very, very happy to see this getting lots of attention. I hope that more people work on this aspect the way that Ren has. Okay, let's go back a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Set a heart step of greatest, shocking like a finger in the anus. I was born wasted, stoned on my brain, brother faded. Writing catchy syllables contagious. I was born courageous, naked and fucking outrageous. With a microphone, I rock stages. I jump on the rhythm of rhyme and cyclone, and I. That was cool. I didn't notice before the way that uh, during a lot of that rapping section, he wasn't actually looking straight at the camera, and then the moment he started on pitch, he just honed in on it. That was cool. Faded, writing catchy syllables contagious. I was born courageous, naked and fucking outrageous. With a microphone, I rock stages. I jump on the rhythm of rhyme and cyclone. And I pull his caliber right out the song. King punk, the precision that hits like Stallone. Rocky, keep it cocky, I'll be Al Capone. I walk alone, sit on the author's throne. And if you want it, I'll deny it like a mortgage loan. Your daughter's home, we'll be staying home alone. Condone the bone and eat it like a Toblerone, bitch. That is just so cool. The camera angles, that it almost feels like I'm on a train. It's really, really awesome. I'm really, I'm very curious what kind of equipment is being used here. Um, what I'd like to see what the backstage setup essentially of this is because it is so fascinating to watch. Yet it looks, it looks like it requires a ton of thought and preparation but hopefully not too much in the way of set or, or post effects. Uh, also, these red words that continue to pop up, I feel like they're really helping us understand how effective his words are and giving an extra stamp to them. And just all the kudos to the production team here. Wow. Song King Punk, the precision that hits like Stallone. Rocky, keep it cocky, I'll be Al Capone. I walk alone, sit on the author's throne. And if you want it, I'll deny it like a mortgage loan. Your daughter's home, we'll be staying home. Oh my gosh, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't hear that, that rhyme the first time. I didn't hone in on it. The deny it like a mortgage loan. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow. There are so many clever ways that he's calling all kinds of pop culture moments and, and then uh, having some, I would say like some very typical rhymes, but then just surprising me with others. Wow. Precision that hits like Stallone. Rocky, keep it cocky, I'll be Al Capone. I walk alone, sit on the office throne. And if you want it, I'll deny it like a mortgage loan. Your daughter's home, we'll be staying home alone. Condone the bone and eat it like a Toblerone, bitch. Hmm. This reminds me of when I was little in church, I got really distracted by the preacher intonation. <laughs> it was like, da, 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 And I actually wrote it down in 
what was like the little paper that they gave us there. I started making uh, sort of notating the uh, melodic pattern that the preacher was using. And then I showed it to my mother and I was like, he uses the same pattern over and over. Why is he doing that? Was he trained to do that? And as I'm listening to Ren here, I hear ba 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 There's a, like, there's a melody in rapping that is just more obscure than the lyrical melodies that we often associate with singing, where it's a it's very specific pitch that's sustained. But I would I would say I could notate the general area of this and come up with a sort of like generalized melody because he's actually quite quite specific about that. This is it's a little bit perturbing to me because I feel like it's really messing with my understanding of what rap is versus singing. And lots of people have said, well, is, is rapping singing? And I'll you know, usually say, hey, if it's not sustaining a pitch, then I don't really consider it singing. Or if it's a sustained phonation, even as a way I've evolved to understand singing because I include harsh vocals in that now, sustained phonation. But then I start thinking, well, rapping is a kind of sustained phonation. There's a lot more talking in there, so it's not as sustained. And man, I love it when my idea of what singing is gets challenged, which is exactly what he's done here. Let's go back some. And it hits like Stallone. Rocky, keep it cocky. I'll be Al Capone. I walk alone, sit on the office throne. Right. If you want it, I'll deny it like a mortgage loan. Your daughter's home. We'll be staying home alone. Lots of repetition and melody. Like a total of wrong, bitch. If you catch me alone, you better stay on my zone because I'm ready to kill. I'll sit on my throne, made the bodies and bones because I'm mentally ill. I really, I really like the way he's taken mental illness and made it such a massive strength. It's the most strong people, I think, are the people who turn their vulnerability into strength. If you catch me alone, you better stay on my zone because I'm ready to kill. I'll sit on my throne, made the bodies and bones because I'm mentally ill. I'm feeling alive, I got the will to survive, so never test my skill. For goodness sake, man, I'm ready to break, man. Murderer, homie, it's the way that I get down. Murderer, if you see me on the corner of my town, get back, back, back. Murderer. That's interesting. Oh, oh hey. Is that the pig? I think we, I've seen that. Th that was in another video that I saw. Interesting. Interesting. Um, that distracted me. Uh, there was an interesting effect on the voice that I wanted to go back and catch again. Oh, if you see me on the corner of my town, get back. On town. It almost sounds like there's a little bit of auto-tune. I don't know if that was a post decision or if that was an actual tone quality he was going for. I've heard people live who have taken um, sort of like that Antares Autotune plugin and they've actually replicated some of the quality of that like stamp that it puts on the sound and they've brought that into their natural sound. It's just super intriguing to me. I definitely find that there are like, I would say two big camps of people when it comes to Autotune. There's the camp of I cannot stand uh, autotune or any of the, the sounds associated with it. And then there's the camp of uh, I want that sound. I love that imprint in there. And then there's all of this stuff in between. I'm very much, I think, that in between. I feel like it depends on the style. Um, and I like it when somebody uses autotune if they want a particular sound, but they don't need to depend on it. So... Uh, with any plugin, this is really the case. Don't depend on the technology to get you there. Figure out how you can get there with your own voice first. But then if you want to give something a little lift in a particular way because you like that shading of sound, go for it, right? But on the other hand, know your audience because some audiences will hate that sound and it really depends on what kind of audience you're aiming for. So in this case, I'm curious, um, was that something in post or was it something naturally that happened? Let's go back and hear it again. Right there. Town. One more time. 
And I will say, I've heard uh, this kind of sound in the natural tone or brought into the natural tone way more in R&B than I have heard it in other genres. So I would say this is a very, very appropriate place to bring that into, if that's his choice. I'm feeling alive, I got the will to survive, so never test my skill. For goodness sake, man, I'm ready to break, man. Murderer, only it's the way that I get down. Murderer. There's like a reggae feel to the way he sings Murderer that feels uh, just like open and free, which is so interesting to go with the word murderer. There's, uh, yeah, there's some extra layers of emotion to unpack there. I'll go back for now and follow those lyrics a little bit more closely. For goodness sake, man, I'm ready to break, man. Murderer, only it's the way that I get down. <laughs> Next part. But I just want to go back and look at the way he's using the final syllable of several ah words essentially. Rat tat tat tat, get back, 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 attack, tack, tack. It's really fun to hear how he's playing with the words and and choosing to linger on a specific sound, almost like there are different punches being thrown. It's he's just clever with the words. It makes me think about them in a different way. One more time. Oh, it was a little bit far, sorry. For goodness sake, man, I'm ready to break, man. Murderer, only it's the way that I get down. Murderer, if you see me on the corner of my town, get back, back, back. Murderer, swing for your draw in the first round. Murderer, only it's the way that I get down. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bigger they come, the bigger they fall. The trigger the gun, I'm clipping them all. Like eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I land them up against the ball. I don't mean metaphorically, lyrical bullets. I mean, actually fucking kill them. Squeeze the trigger and pull it. Whoa. Blood splat, how's it going, lad? Brands are flowing, mad. Trust that I'm a pro with that. Seeds are sowing, bad boy. I'm an addict, volcanic, a man. It's twisted and manic. The brands are gifted, goddammit. I push the button, we panic. We that sees the landscape. Oh my gosh. Talk about devastating lyrics. He's just, he's willing to go to places that I shy away from. There's like something culturally in how I was brought up probably that makes me shy away from this, like the violence and the way it's, it really is very, very raw. And I just have to applaud that because I think we need to be exposed to it and think about these things in that raw state so much more. Whoa. <sighs> okay, back. Get back, 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 Get back, back, back. Uh -huh. Let's go back, back, back. The bigger they come, the bigger they fall. The trigger the gun, I'm clipping them all like eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I line them up against the ball. I don't mean metaphorically, lyrical bullets. I mean, actually fucking kill them. Squeeze the trigger and pull it. Blood splat. That's terrifying. That's just like terrifying. That moment makes my stomach drop. The eeny, meeny, miny, mo gives it a certain levity to it. Get, gives a certain levity to it. But then you hear the way he follows that up. And there's also the music dropped out underneath. And it suddenly... You, you, you think, oh, this is going to be like fine and fluffy. And then he says, no, it's not in all of the ways, not just the lyrics, but also the music oh, and the camera angle. <laughs> Gosh. The bigger they come, the bigger they fall. The trigger the gun, I'm clipping them all like eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I line them up against the ball. I don't mean metaphorically, lyrical bullets. I mean, actually fucking kill them. Squeeze the trigger and pull it. Blood splat, how's it going, lad? Brands are flowing, mad. Trust that I'm a pro with that. Seeds are sowing, bad boy. I'm an addict, volcanic, a man. It's twisted and manic. The brands are gifted, goddammit. I push the button, we panic. We that seize the... Oh my gosh. That is also such a cool breathe moment. I think he knew that not only did he maybe need a breath there, but as the audience, I need a moment to process what's happening. It is so intense listening to his lyrics run by. There are moments of absolute cleverness. Uh, there's a brilliance that can make me laugh. And then there are moments that are so heavy like this that it's just hard to digest how heavy it is. I think I actually enjoy the first time going back like this and sinking into the lyrics a little bit more 
because I have more time to digest it. Uh, so let's go back again. The bigger they come, the bigger they fall. The trigger the gun, I'm clipping them all like eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I line them up against the wall. I don't mean metaphorically, lyrical bullets. I mean, actually fucking kill them. Squeeze the trigger and pull it. Blood splat, how's it going, lad? Bands are flowing, mad. Trust that I'm a pro with that. Seeds are sowing, bad boy. I'm an addict, volcanic, a man. It's twisted and manic. The rhymes are gifted, god damn it. I push the button, we panic. Listen to how he switched the melody up in that. It was, it lost the just rapping feeling and it actually got very, very specific, but because it's following the areas that he was going to when rapping, it actually feels just like such a smooth transition once again. Let's go here. Well, I don't mean metaphorically, lyrical bullets. I mean, actually fucking kill him, squeeze the trigger and pull it. Blood splat, how's it going, lad? Bands are flowing, mad. Trust that I'm a pro with that. Right, there's that really clear melody that's oh, yeah, very similar to the rapping cadence. Manic, the rhymes are gifted, goddammit. I push the button, we panic. Breathe, I seize the lambs, getting the seas. It's easy, see me freestyle freely. What man, yes, I came to rock, man. Drop it like it's hot, fam. When I come to rock, man, I'm getting hot, fam. Got this shit locked, man. Yeah, 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 ye
goes back to his classic guitar at the end. Yeah. Oof. I feel really uncomfortable still just dwelling in that entire music video. I thought we'd get some more sort of metaphorical aspects to it. And instead, it feels like we're really talking about a very bad person. But then again, it definitely felt like there were times when Rin was saying, I'm this person, I'm relating to it. So are we talking about murdering mental problems? I don't know. Uh, I'd be really curious to hear the interpretations from all of you about this. And I think for fun, let's delve into some more uncomfortable videos. There are out there, I've done some analysis of quite a few. So I'm gonna put up a playlist over here. And if you're digging that really uncomfortable feeling right now, keep it going. And may you continue to fall more in love with music every day.